All right, today I want to talk about, you know, a potential future for uh, people like me, you know, because my life is changing a lot. Uh, and I also want to mention this real quick, you know, one of the, the biggest copes known to man, at least in my opinion, and I'm sure we've heard this before, you know, like, oh, we're, we're living in a matrix, uh, you know, all that crap. But what I realized what, you know, the people saying this, you know, the, the ones that are saying like, oh, we're living in a matrix. It's always the people born less fortunate. The matrix only exists for you because you got unlucky with the genetic lottery, whether that be born into a wealthy family, you know, your IQ, uh, you know, your health, whatever, your looks, height, all that. It's like, it's, it's basically like, <laughs> these people who, who claim constantly like, oh, we're living in a matrix. Oh my God, they're out to get us. It's basically like the equivalent to being uh, born four foot 11 potential and complaining that all the tall people are cheating at basketball. I mean, that's the way I see it. But, you know, it's just so comical because like, you know, you see guys like uh, Andrew Tate, the matrix attack. I don't know if he, he genuinely believes this fucking bullshit. I really don't. But like, I already know what it is. You know, it's a grift to get, you know, defeated sub five men who are just fucked. Who it's completely over for, you know, to get them into this scam program and point them in the opposite direction of just bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, it's just like I said, it's just all it is, is just severely unfortunate people in life. Who complain about, you know, this so-called, it's such a cope. It, I swear to God, it's such a cope, you know, complaining about the matrix. Cause you, you think that, uh, you know, Chaddington Bartholomew the third, uh, you know, living in his parents million dollar home, you know, he has both parents. They're both extremely smart and successful. He got, you know, he got that going for him. You know, he's good looking. You know, he's got a girlfriend. His college funds are already set up and everything. His life is already planned out and good. He can fall back on his parents. You fucking really think he's thinking about this so-called matrix? He ain't thinking about shit. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of just like, you know, because I'll see like crackheads every now and then, especially at night, you know, when I'm subhuman night ghouling. And like some of these motherfucking guys, bro, like they're just like, they they just lost in life and they just turn to drugs and they, they're like, oh, we're living in the matrix, the government, the this, the that. Oh, the, dude it's just over there is, you know it's just it's just over there is no matrix there's only you and your genetic destiny you know what you can achieve with your cards that you have been dealt in life and this is the truth you know i know people love to gaslight and be like oh excuses excuses i did this and i accomplished this everyone loves to use survivorship bias because it's literally literally impossible to step in somebody else's shoes and live their life you know, the most extreme examples where people can like genuinely grasp and understand this concept is when people are born with like, like on the extreme, extreme, uh, like severe side of things, you know, like severe non-functioning autism, severe, like, you know, defects. This is when people actually understand like, oh yeah, that guy, that guy, you know, I feel bad for that guy. He was dealt a bad hand. But for people who are like me, who are severely subpar, you know, I'm below average intelligence. I already know this. I, it's, I mean, Jesus Christ, below average looks. Uh, you don't get a pass, guys. You get gaslit, and oh, it's your fault. It's your fault. But you know, I will say this. You know, in life, keep your expectations low. Uh, I'm trying to make the most of it right now. I know that sounds really corny. But uh, life isn't all sunshine and rainbows for everybody at all. It really isn't. You know, everyone has their own struggles and own, own things to go through. Um, it's funny, too, you know, when I say all this shit, people will be like, oh, you're giving up, bro. You're a loser because you're giving up. It's like, yeah, you know, I mean, not really. Like, this is just the way my life has to be. You know, like, I don't tell you how to live your life. Like, I am 100% sure the average person hasn't nearly accomplished as much as they want in their life. They're not even remotely close to fulfilled. So they just kind of settle for what they can get. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. You know, going to be living in my car mid-August, you know, working a delivery job and doing DoorDash too. I do that too now. 
So this is the way it has to be. This, you know, I'm just surviving at this point. And yeah, I'm content, you know, for the, for the time being. But, you know, the, the brutal part about, you know, nowadays, you know, because, I mean, I've always, you know, been saying this for recently, but just, you know, housing, the dream of affording a house or even an apartment, guys, that's the funny thing. Even an apartment, it's just not realistic anymore, you know, because even on, you know, what is it? I think like twenty one fifty an hour. It's not even remotely fucking close, not even remotely close to being able to pay rent every month, <laughs> even in like the worst apartments you can find, you know. So it's getting rough. You know, the economy's getting rough and uh, there's going to be tons of just men with no purpose, you know, just not even knowing what to do. And it's just brutal. You know, I'm noticing nowadays, like I've said this before, but like more and more like like young guys like myself, I don't I don't know how the fuck they're doing it, but they're more and more just getting disability and, and uh, you know, SSDI, whatever. Uh, you know, it's just I don't know. They're just passing it out like candy. I really, I really have no fucking idea. And, you know, it's, it's, it's weird too, because, uh, you know, the people I do know, you know, personally in real life, uh, they haven't worked in forever. They just don't work. You know, this one kid, uh, you know, that I used to talk to, uh, he basically told me that, you know, for, he's going to get, you know, paid, you know, for the disability, uh, cause you know, he had like a mental breakdown, went to the hospital and, and that's the thing. Like, I don't understand how the fuck you can get on a uh, disability for depression, you know, and like anxiety and fucking, cause I usually just like fucking, I don't, I don't do shit about it. I just kind of like, just deal with it. Honestly, like I, I don't, there, there's like no other way, you know, I just kind of fucking deal with it. But, uh, you know, this one dude, he basically gets $800 a month and I, you know, I'm like, you know, what's your, what's your game plan for the future? You know, what do you, what are you going to do for a living? How are you going to, you know, improve your shit? You know, all that. And he goes, oh, I'm just going to live with my parents, save up my disability money. And you know, when they die, I'll just get like an apartment. I don't know why that just like pissed me off so much. I mean, I know like, obviously, I guess he beat the system. I mean, fuck, he gets to just sit there and do fucking absolutely nothing. But that, I don't know. I guess everyone has their own way of doing things. And, you know, if he's happy rotting on his ass, just fucking sitting there doing nothing. Because I feel like I'm at a point where I, I, I wouldn't even mind that now. I would not fucking mind that. But again, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, if you're in your 20s, I just don't know anyone who's working now. You know, on top of like, I feel like 50% just don't want to fucking work. And then the other 50% just like they get really shit college degrees and they just fucking apply, apply, apply until they give up and go neat. You know, it's just like everyone's like fucking neat nowadays. You know, it took me like 700, just fucking hundreds, man, of, of, of applications to even land a part time job, you know. I don't know if I'd consider it lucky, but it just, it just takes fucking forever now, man. It's just not like it used to be. I don't know. It's just really odd. You would think I fucking, you know, have face tattoos and went into jail. That's how many fucking applications and job interviews I've been on that just don't work, you know? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I feel like, you know, the people that do do that, even my dad was saying some shit like, oh, you know, bud, like this is when I was living with him last year. He's like, oh, you know, down here, you know, everyone's on disability. You just find a shady doctor. Honestly, any doctor will do just say like, oh, my back is fucked. My back is fucked up or oh, my leg. Fuck. And he's like, they'll give you opiates. They'll give you fucking free housing and uh, disability. I'm like, what the fuck? Because even one of my half uh, half uncles that you know, he lives in the same state as my dad. He like hurt. I, and I'm not even bullshitting. Like he lost like, uh, part of his thumb in like a, a work accident or some shit. And, uh, what is it? He gets like free housing and like all this fucking bullshit, disability pills. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, you know, in the future, I could, and especially with AI guys, like, oh my 
good god i can't i haven't seen shit like this in forever you know uh where it just look at this it's just so quickly look at what ai is doing you know it just comes out of nowhere it's just getting more and more advanced you know as the the years go by and it kind of feels like yeah it just it just happened just randomly here we are with ai and it's probably gonna advance pretty quickly you know very very quickly and uh you know in the future because and this is the thing too with uh just in general i notice like places that go out of business and, and this is the thing like every every fucking place now like restaurants and it just seems like everything is going out of business just everywhere you know at least like in my opinion like you'd be a fucking idiot to open up a, a business or some shit because uh probably just like get closed you know go bankrupt but i'm noticing they're just like uh you know knocking these places down and just making apartments i'm noticing they're just building apartments everywhere because i guess you know people can't afford houses now obviously you know you'd have to be like very wealthy off and you know be able to afford a house and yeah it's just apartments being built just just absolutely everywhere and i i mean honestly in the future i wouldn't be surprised if you know we're all living in like these fucking boxes like these just absolute shitholes you know like these fucking pods like apartments you know just everybody in the world just it's just gonna happen randomly like no one's gonna like even see it coming we're all just gonna be living in apartments you know and uh i wouldn't mind in like a you know like a weird dystopian future like if i you know like like hundreds of years from now maybe maybe not even who fucking knows but we're gonna have like you know yeah like these like a little apartments uh you know with like one bed you're gonna get you know your vr soy set you could just or who knows maybe it'll be a fucking brain chip you just plug your fucking brain into it and it's like sort of like a lucid dream or something like that you could just like interact with people online and uh you know basically just i don't know just live like a fucking alternate life and shit like you could just play games and do all this shit and it'll feel like real life you know you just plug yourself into that garbage and uh you know you're good and whenever you get hungry you know because there's gonna let's say there's like fucking robots working now because uh you know just technology has gotten that advanced that uh you know you just press a button you order just like you know slop food garbage and it just comes down a chute or like a fucking robot knocks on your door and delivers it and uh (laughs) yeah you just just getting you know dropped off like a fucking hogger burger you know slop burger it's not even gonna be I, i feel like the food's gonna get worse and worse too like uh you know i think we all know that like most of the you know ultra processed garbage food it's it's horrible for you you know but people still eat it anyway. You know, it doesn't matter what the ingredients say. People are still going to do it. People are still going to eat it. It's the same thing with smoking. Everyone knows it gives you cancer, but people are still going to smoke. Same thing with drinking. You know, it's it's fucking literal poison, but people still do it. You know, it's the same with uh, the food, you know. And I don't doubt that it, it for sure does have some sort of uh, impact on your physical and well-being, like the super ultra processed, you know, hog slosh garbage Honestly, I should call it sloish. Just, just slop, just soy food. Just, just this slosh. Like, if you guys have ever seen that uh, SpongeBob episode where that one fish, you know, he bites into that burger, and there's just like this sludge, and he just realizes he's eating fucking garbage. You know, <laughs> you're just gonna get dropped off a sludge burger through a tube, you know, into your apartment by a fucking robot, and just you know, be happy uh everybody's gonna (laughs) be dropped off you know like antidepressants and like medications and shit you know to help them cope that would be so brutal man i don't know i but but the thing is you know i feel like uh you know if that were to happen guys like if i could get my own like little like fucking i don't know sloish pod you know get dropped off fucking slop every day have a vr soy set brain chip that allows me to play games and just i don't know like pissing shit through a hole in the floor i mean I, <laughs> honestly like I, I wouldn't even mind at this point you know because what other future do i really have for myself fucking sitting in a car alone for fucking days on end delivering slop anyway you know to people like 
the fuck is the point? You know, people try so hard to fight this like quote unquote matrix. Who gives a shit? When your life is really this bad, you might as well fucking join it, man. Eat the shit slop and uh you just plug yourself into the matrix. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that was a, if that was a future, maybe I'd give it a shot. You know, maybe I might, I'd give the slosh pod a shot, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that shit's so funny, but, uh, yeah, uh, I could definitely for sure, you know, see that shit, uh, definitely. Cause I mean, it technically is happening. I mean, I know obviously what I said was just so extreme and like stupid, but it really is happening on a small scale, you know, more and more kids my age, you know, in their early twenties getting on disability somehow, you know, living with their parents or, you know, some sort of like really cheap apartment and just that's their life forever, you know? I mean, it's sad, but as long as like people are happy doing that, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's for me. I'm going to like take it back. I don't know. Like if that were offered that, I'd have to think about it. I mean, I do enjoy walks. I do enjoy going into nature. The only problem I have is just, just talking to people i just i'm not good with people i never have been uh i've been alone most of my life you know i've been bullied horrifically you know been called ugly i am ugly you don't have to fucking even tell me that but i missed out on a lot of key experiences in my life and i kind of just feel like i'm here you know and i kind of have to just like you know deal with the shit you know and yeah i don't know i just find it funny as well i was just thinking right now since you know i'm, I'm working a job and living in my car you know uh, you know, part-time delivery job, like, what is it, like, the the older generations are like, oh, oh, you know, you young guys are so lazy, young people are so lazy, I feel like, you know, it's because you can afford to be nowadays, right, because of how, like, technology is, like, you can afford to be, it's not really, I mean, it is sort of a bad thing, because, like, nowadays, you know, people aren't motivated at all, like, I'm not motivated to do shit, you know, I'm content with where I'm at, I'm not motivated to do anything. I don't want to do anything. You know, I don't really want to, but it's like, you know, what am I even going to do? What, what, what would like, what's the end goal of life? What do I even really want for myself at all? Anyway, you know, a family, is that it? I mean, I can't, there's no way I can get that. You know, I'm too ugly for that shit. I fucking, I just have nothing going for me, you know? So it's just over at this point, but, but that again, so what's the end goal then? You know, just to survive, you know, (sighs) I don't know. I haven't had like proper fun in like forever, man, you know, like real proper, like just fun out in the world. The last time it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, this 4th of July, it was like sort of like a little disaster. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but you know, in the beginning I was like, cause I, I, I hadn't like really left the house much and, uh, hadn't talked to anybody at all like nobody and you know seeing an old friend i was like i was happy for a little bit you know i'm like this is nice you know this is actually really nice but uh yeah i don't know either way like the the future can't really see it being anything too good i just feel like technology will make people lazier and lazier and who knows i mean we all might be living in these small shithole apartments you know in the future all of us i don't know maybe everyone will give up (laughs) and just uh yeah just just accept their little apartment but yeah i guess that's uh pretty much it for now